be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John's disciples and Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests fast? while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old garment. If he does, the patch tears away from it, the new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and so are the skins. But new wine is for fresh skins. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is really excited to explain to the Pharisees and to the disciples of John that he himself is the bridegroom, the one that is going to bring in new life, new joy, a new family, a new home for the Jewish people. And so he says, there's no time to fast now. There will become a time, but not now. So the realization of who Jesus actually is, is a time of great joy. But there will be time, as Jesus said, when there will be pain and suffering. And we saw that in his own life. That was his passion and his death, which was followed, as we know, by the resurrection and ascension. Another time, not for fasting, but for rejoicing. And so often in life, we want to have a constant life. We think that everything must be perfect every day and that that is the ideal. That is not the ideal. The more we hope and pray for that, the more we are wasting our time. It is better and wiser to do what Jesus is proclaiming today. When there is cause for celebration, celebrate. When there is cause for mourning, mourn. Don't hope for something else other than what you have in the present moment. Well, our present moment is very sad. We are riding the crest of the second wave of the pandemic. Yesterday, we received the news that our Archbishop had died of COVID. This puts the diocese in a very difficult situation because the cardinal this month was supposed to become the administrator of the Ishawi diocese and Archbishop Abel was going to step into the shoes of the cardinal and become our archbishop. And within a week, that has changed. The archbishop is dead. And so what are we to do? Well, this is a time of mourning. It is a time of sadness. And so we need to acknowledge this pain that we have. As a family of Christians, as a Catholic family, as a human family. But we must also know that there will become a time after we have mourned where the new life will flourish. It's difficult and it seems almost as if it's something we shouldn't do. It's disrespectful to hope for that new time. But that new time will come. The more we mourn and we understand the the phases of life, the more we give God this time of mourning, our fasting and praying, 
the more we will be led into the time of resurrection of our church in the Archdiocese of Durban. If we don't do this, we fall into the trap of putting new skin on old wineskins, putting a new patch on an old patch, now old, on old material. It doesn't go. So let us mourn. Let us be sad. Let us pray the prayers of the dead. Let us offer up our masses for the archbishop. Because if we do this with love and respect, the great God of life will lead us from this time into a time of hope. And let us also remember that there are many people who have died in our parish and will still die in this pandemic. Some will die of COVID, some will not. In fact, each one of us will die one day. And there will be an appropriate time of mourning in anticipation of appropriate time of healing, of growth. So let us take wisdom from these scripture texts. Let us not be afraid of the gloom and the doom because we are as held by God's loving hand in times of sadness and mourning as we are in times of gladness. Let us not think that anything is wrong. This is life. This is the life that our Lord Jesus lived. The life that we are called to live. Not to be paranoid and anxious. But to allow God to lead us in these various times of our lives. The more we mourn properly, the more we can celebrate and find the newness of how we are going to be church in the future. We will find that way. And it will be better if we allow our mourning to be real mourning now. Let us ask God to guide us. Because there is a new dawn. As I mentioned recently, 2021 is going to be a very diff different year for all of us. In fact, we can plan for very little. We are going to have to adapt as we go. Because we have no idea, day by day, what may happen. As Archbishop Gable, uh, uh, Gabuza has taught us. Day by day, things will be different. We will not lose hope, but we will go through the processes of life, the good and the bad, the sickness and the health. Amen.